My people wonder that shall never end. Hmm. Information reaching us right now is that they say the palace is allegedly in disarray as Olori Tobi, uh, Olori blasted Ronke and Mariam over water from Iemulu cave. Uh, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel and my page. I'm still your girl, Tochi Williams Onekwe, and we are still on the gist from the palace of Uni of Ife. You see, from what we are hearing, allegedly, they said that Iyamulu cave where the king gets the water he used to drink, eat, bath, and all of that. They said the water is drying up. So everyone is now running helter skelter because they need to do something to uh, uh, salvage the situation. That if not, hmm, while well, I go day, then a lot of people have been coming out to speak. If you have been following this gist, there was a time we heard that the cook, only of the first cook, left the palace unannounced. And when they were called back to come and speak why they would live in such manner without in, uh, telling the king, some of them said that the reason why they, they left was because the wives are beginning to use them to achieve their evil plans against the king and other things. And they said, this Iyamolu water, I've explained it before, but for the interest of those who have not watched the previous video, let me t uh, say one, one or two things about it again. They said that water came as a result of the first wife of Odua, as in the first king of this life, from what we heard. They said his first wife was barren. He doesn't have a child. And a lot of people... We are talking bad against her and all of that. And in tears, they said she was crying. And she was frustrated. She went and begged the ghosts to transform her into something that would be useful to generations unborn. You know? And they turned her into a river, a water. As an in, into water. And they said this water is not just ordinary water. The water is for healing. The water is for protection. The water is for many good things, you know. So, and the only people that can take this water away from that cave, from that Iyemolu cave, they call it Iyemolu water, from uh, because it was gotten from the Iyemolu cave. That is where the woman, the woman went, and she was transformed into the water. Then. They said the only people that can take this water home and nothing will happen and it will still serve its purpose is any king, as in any Oni of Ife. It's not just this uh, present one. The ones before him and the ones after him. That they are the only ones who can take this water. If you are not a king, you take the water home, it might cause a problem. They said when you go to that water right there and pray with it, you might receive your healing and all of that. But if you take it home or take it away from its source to another place, uh, it will not serve the purpose, you know? So, and that is the only way the water that the king has been using to eat, bath, drink, and all of that. Then they said, at some point, some if a priest now called some of these wives of the king, who we are there for their selfish reason, Telling them that if they start using the water to drink and uh, do some other things, that if they take any oath in the palace, that it will not affect them. Can you imagine? And this is to tell you that those of them that started using it, they have the aim of doing something that warrant taking an oath. And with them, they, they, they have concluded that even if they take the oath. And that was why now it is very clear. That was why when the protective charm was missing, the women were ready to take oaths. That is what we heard though. Maybe they have started drinking this water then, believing that if they take the oath, that nothing will happen. Now they said the water is drying up and the king is running helter skelter, looking for who to do sacrifices and all of that. And everyone is worried and they, you know, uh, Scared that if it end up drying up, this is something that have never happened ages ago. Because a lot of kings have been using it before this particular king in question. And because they are, their wives we are not as these people, this set of wife that the king married now, 
there have never been a story like this. So now, Demitokba is saying that she's not going to fold her arms and allow things to go wrong. And this is because it is really affecting the king. They said it is really affecting him. And they're now running her task at what is the problem? What is going on? This and that. They said, Demitokba said that the two people they should ask that question should be uh, Mariam and uh, Runke. They said she have been making, uh, uh, making uh, is it a kind of blasting them to come and speak? That they need to speak. They need to say things that they have done without water. So that those people that want to sacrifice, do sacrifices or rituals, will know where to start and what to do. Because if they keep quiet, they won't know what these people have done. Because they are believing that whatever that is causing that water to dry has to do with the abuse by the women, by the wife of the king, who are now using the water when they are not supposed to use it. And they say this water has a lot of rules and regulations. You cannot go there while you are on your menstrual cycle. There are a lot of things that you shouldn't take into that water. You know? And who knows what must have gone wrong? Now, Tebitokwe is saying that this, all these stories, all this suffering in the palace and everything is as a result of some of these wives. And at the end of the day, they will say only of the first wives. They will not uh, 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 say it is this person or that person. That it is high time that uh, the Mitokwe and the Mariam come and speak. That if they fail to speak, that she is going to tell the king everything she knows about the uh, abuse of that Iyemolu water. But my question is this. If Temitokba know that these people are abusing the water, why don't she tell the king on time? Why now? Hmm? Why now? Anyways, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. Okay, always bear that in mind. I do not live in the palace. As I hear them on social media and I saw the carry and can't give on no be for stand information. No. They are not for stand information. Always bear that in mind. But to me, I believe this is an opportunity for the king to do something about these women. If they continue like this, hmm, let's not forget that it is a woman no, who uh, caused Samson misfortune in this life. <laughs> Anyways, that is not my prayer for KBS, considering the fact that Queen Naomi and the Prince Tade Nikawo is involved. Hmm, but even, even at that, he needs to be careful and take action when necessary to avoid some unnecessary drama at the end of everything. Guys, I don't know what to think about it. Whatever I think about it, please share with us on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. Love you guys.